All right, what's up, guys? Zero here, and we are here for another deck profile. This time, we're gonna take a look at, take a look at Kagero. Uh, so this deck recently won the, uh, or was one of the decks that won the recent uh, Zero Grand Final. So I thought, hey, let's take a look at it, right? It's a Kagero best deck. So uh, my list is basically the same thing as uh, the guy who won the list, um, with a slight, few slight changes. Uh, so I'll just go over the list, uh, looks what it looks like. Uh, again, like that's a few minor differences, but uh, yeah, so starter is Conroe. Conroe is Conroe, I'm not gonna go over this. Conroe has been the starter for Kagero for literally two years now, so, and uh, that's not changing anytime soon, so. Play Conroe as your starter. Next off, we're playing uh, four stride fodder, four PG, simple stuff. Uh, it, is, it is relevant to note that uh, these are flame dragon, and uh, that is relevant for stuff for uh, the legend, so. Uh, if it looks like a flame dragon, it probably is a flame dragon. Obviously, selling with Nihalum is not a flame dragon, he's a fucking dude. So, uh, PG, Stride Fodder, both flame dragons, these are searchable off the legend. Uh, next off, 2 Athonic. I think this card's terrible, but uh, this card fulfills two uses for this deck, being CC and Soul. So, uh, his skill, if you don't know what it is, is uh, when something is retired, you can uh, put him to Soul, you can catch 2. Uh, this deck does burn through Soul really fast, so, uh, and doesn't have, and, and needs to counter charge, so. Uh, Playing copies of Athonic is pretty nice, just because he does fulfills both the role. I think this card's pretty bad, but uh, again, this card does that kind of needs both of those resources, so you play two of these, and the card that's eating up all our soul is the Tar, so his skill is GP1 once per turn. Soul Blast 1, Counter Blast 1, to give a unit 4k, so this could be Vanguard or Rear Guard, and then the skill, uh, or give any unit plus 4k, and then the skill Vanguard Rear. Um, when it attacks the Vanguard, check out 5 at a grade 3 or higher, higher from, from among them to your hand, so uh, this card costs soul. And Atonic gives you soul, and uh, the Legend also uses soul, so uh, soul is quite a tight resource in this deck, but um, Tar is pretty good because it lets you dig for uh, Stride Fodder, Reed Rides, or just, as you can see, Overlords to actually use, so pretty good card, and uh, 4k is nice because you can use the scale, uh, for example, 7 plus uh, any non 9k, so uh, in this deck, either Nahalem or the Burning Horn lets you make a 21k plus column, meaning you actually scale over defensive, so that's pretty good. And uh, we play through this because cards are pretty nice. Pretty nice to have, so yeah, let's get that there for great ones, great twos. Three burning horns, a uh, 12k attacker for an overlord vanguard. Everything is, every grade three in this deck is an overlord, so uh this card uh is always always a 12k attacker. Burnout, um CB uh, on play CB1, banish an overlord from your drop zone to retire when your points regard. Everything every grade three in this deck is an overlord. Uh, CB1 retire is pretty nice. Uh two Neo Flames. Um on play, he gains the skill. Uh when something in its column retired, CB1 to kill the, kill something else in the same column as it as that card, so um a column retire, pretty cool, and uh, mainly playing because he's the mate, but as itself, he's not that good of a card in my opinion. I don't think Neil Flame's that particularly good right now, so uh, we, that's why we only play two of it because we only play two of the greats, so 2 2 ratios here. And finally, the last great two is the Nahalem, so he is a new card. His skill is uh, GB1 during your turn. If your Vanguard is an Overlord, he gets plus 2k in the following ability. When your grade 4 or higher Vanguard attacks, uh, he gets plus 5k, so um, whenever you stride, you are uh, you are a grade 4 Vanguard, meaning gain the uh, extra, you gain the skill here, so plus 5. Good thing with this card is that if you just have like 18 column, if one hits, uh, hits uh, trig defensive on first check, you can, um, what you call it, you can, uh, you can uh, swing Vanguard first, he has plus 5, and you see one trigger, it actually uh, scales over now, assuming the next damage is also not defensive, so uh, scaling is definitely not, not really, really nice with this card, so yeah, and at worst it's an 11k solo hacker, which is still really good, so. Definitely a very good addition to any overall base deck, because uh, Kagero, if you don't know, uh, if you haven't played this deck, uh, really struggles with boosters and having solo attackers always really nice and this guy can hit fucking ginormous numbers so uh, really good card so and since this skill isn't once per turn if your vanguard is resonating uh i.e if you actually use the legend's reason ability you can actually get plus 10k during a turn which is pretty good so yeah definitely a really good solo attacker for this deck and soups that's what you play four of them and finally the trigger four heal guards uh heal guards are heal guards uh but uh next up three of the original overlord his skill is CB3, five, uh, plus 5k, neg 2 drive, and then he gains, uh, when he's swinging a rear, uh, stand it, so uh, clear front row wipe, pretty good. Uh, well, this card has always been good, and uh, it's even better with something like Novell now, because uh, now you can uh, do what you did before when Dauntless Novell, where you uh, CB3, uh, pop the front row and go face a bunch of times, and uh, you get the guard restrict with the Novell now, and you get the no heal, so pretty good. Next up, 2 of the Great, Allegiance with Neo Flame. Let's return. If using if this unit is a legion, uh, and when it attacks, hits a rear CB one. Drop two cards. Discard two cards. Stand as unit. Draw two, and then uh, on hit retires retire same name to uh, pop a rear. So pretty okay. 
Uh, he's mainly here just to le have Legion in the deck. Uh, you can honestly, in my opinion, just cut down on this to like a one of and play four overloads if you wanted to. Because I think overload is pretty important, but I play two of this just for now, just because I want to try it. And uh, honestly speaking, rarely comes up. So yeah, and uh, you you don't really care which which card you ride in this deck anyways. Like Legend's obviously your optimal ride in this deck, but uh, even if you miss the Legend, uh, you just stride every turn and do stuff. You don't even use Legend's the GB2 skill every turn, so uh, your ride target in this deck really doesn't matter. You play Legend mainly for its uh, mainly for its uh, other skill, his uh, search skill. But yeah, uh, the great here is because it gives you an option to Legion, which is just nice sometimes. Sometimes you just need to put cards back and uh, stack triggers to win. So that's why you play two of the greats. And finally, Mr. The Legend. So his skill is GB2 once per turn. Uh, you can um, CB1 to the CB1 discard a grade three or higher flame. That's uh, grade three or higher from your hand to give him plus 15 plus a drive plus uh, plus a level and then um, draw one and then give him the following he himself the following ability at the end of the unit attack the discard three cards stand as unit draw three so basically this card becomes a pseudo stride because uh, you get plus 15 puts him up to uh, the same power as a stride uh, plus a plus a drive same so again same thing as a stride triple drive and then um, plus a level so now he's a grade four now so uh, uh, so this means he's uh, plus grade four meaning he works with a Nahalum which checks for grade four higher vanguard pretty cool and, uh, and then his other, and then the skill he actually gets is the restand skill. Uh, it doesn't have to hit real like TCG. As long as you attack with it, you can stand it to draw three, which is pretty good. So uh, yeah, the skill is okay. Comes up every once in a while, but you're mainly playing for the other skill, uh, which is on play Vanguard Circle, Soul Blast One, Counter Blast One, Check Top Five, add a Flame Dragon for one with your hand, and shuffle your deck. So uh, pretty good, pretty good skill. Uh, on the first, on the first, like your first grade three ride, that's straight up plus one, which is really good. Cogger will take, will take any plus you can get. But any sub subsequent ride after that, it's a break even because you. Uh, had to re-ride uh, to get the card, but uh, sometimes just trading that great three in your hand for a PG and attacker or stride fodder is just good. So uh, this card, pretty good, very good card. Uh, definitely helps in the card as it pluses you, which is really nice, and uh, has a somewhat relevant Vanguard Circle skill in case you just don't want to stride and you just need the fourth attack. So yeah, so that's it for the main deck. Extra uh, for the G zone, we got two Mustafa. Once per turn, CB one, uh, uh, flip anything from your uh, from your G zone. Uh, retire rear, and then you give units uh, this, and then you give units this, uh, the skill on a counter charge per copy of him you have facing your G zone. Uh, everything this G zone flips, so uh, Mustafa will always flip Mustafa because you don't want to flip your other copies of the other stuff in your gym, because then it would end up being like odd number of cards you can't use some cards. So uh, Mustafa just first drive lets you flip, uh, lets you turbo GB2 as well because um, yeah, it's relevant in this deck because you want uh, the legend to have its GB2 skill. So. Uh, two Mustafa, four Root Flare, uh, uh, GB2, once per turn, G Flip, uh, pop a column. Uh, column Tower is really good, it's completely free, which is actually very relevant because this deck does want to save as much of its CB as possible for its, uh, for its final kill turn, so uh, being free is really nice, Column Tower is really nice, helps you, get, helps you get over resist, and is just a good card overall, that's why we play four of it. And finally, we have two uh, of the new strides, the Novell stride, so his skill is uh, GB2, once uh, on play, CB1, G Flip to gain the following, following abilities. Uh, if either player is at five or more damage, your opponent's triggers are nulled and uh, gar uh, glory guard trick. So your opponent, uh, if your opponent wants to guard with PG, they have to discard grade three as well. So and they are pretty nice because uh, uh, it's guard trick and they can't stay sealed. And if you're all, and if you're at five, you can just swing face and not be worried about defensive, which is pretty good. And the reason we want to save so much CB for this deck for, for your final kill turn is you want to go uh, stride Novell CB one, use Overlord, pop wipe the front row, and just swing face three times. Uh, one of which is a guard trick, and if they don't have the guards for it, they just die. So, pretty nice there. Uh, it's not honestly that amazing of a stride, but having a win con like Novell is so pretty good. Guard trick is always nice, and uh, telling your point to, that they're not less skilled is also really nice. So, yeah. So, that's it for this deck profile. Again, this is uh, basically net deck from the winners list, and then I just changed a few cards up to uh, change preference with my personal ratios. So, uh, things I changed, you don't know, I added, I cut in, I cut a copy of the Great for Third Overlord, and I cut. Uh, to the aces for two more ruthless, I just don't think the ace is that good of a card because uh, if you're gonna go into the ace, you might as well just use the legends instead. It's basically the same thing. So yeah. Uh, so that's it for deck for this deck profile. I will show you some games with this deck afterwards, as per usual. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.